If there are profits after watching this video please share. A distant thrum breaks the dawn silence, sounding for all the world like a C-130S4 huge props slashing the air high above the Utah desert. We scan the sky as the noise throbs nearer. When the source finally materializes, it's actually ground-bound, a convoy of dozens of modified trucks jacked high on lift kits and oversized tires. What we thought were droning propellers is actually the burr of thousands of knobby off-road tread blocks hammering the pocked pavement. If a town can have its own theme music, this is Moab's. Tucked among the red sandstone domes and spires of the Colorado Plateau, Moab is a mecca for all manner of outdoor activities, from rock climbing to mountain biking to base jumping. But during the days leading up to Easter, all other pursuits take a back seat to off-roading. The Easter Jeep Safari, celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, is nine days of four-wheeling in nature's harshest proving ground. Moab morphs into a fantasy land of lifted, caged, and rock-scarred rigs that line the streets, pack parking lots, and caravan off in every direction to attack trails with names like Where Eagles Dare and Escalator to Hell. It's a kind of Woodward Avenue without the avenue and cops rarely impede the dream by ticketing drivers for trivialities such as not having license plates. Besides thousands of jeeps overrunning this town of 5,000 residents, there are passels of pickups, Toyota FJs, old and new, and purpose-built buggies wearing only a hint of production sheet metal. Plus, this year, there was one $281,170 Bentley Bentga. As SUVs invade increasingly unlikely showrooms, the veneer of off-road capability grows ever more implausible. Does a Bentley trucklet really need a height-adjustable suspension or four different off-road modes? Will any owner understand the differences between mud and trail and dirt and gravel, both selectable driving modes, or would the brains of Bentley drivers just lump all those words together under the umbrella of things that are outside? So we challenged Bentley, if the Bentga actually has off-road chops, prove it. Let us take one to Easter Jeep. That's how we found ourselves pitching a tent in a dusty campground alongside a Bentley. Its price was inflated nearly $50,000 from base, courtesy of extras including $5,715 for paint that sagebrush and tamarisk, the local invasive plant, would imperil. Luckily we had the low-budget paint, there's also a palette of colors priced at $12,530 each. 